Welcome back to another episode of Pavement to Trails. If you missed the last episode, we showed you how we started wheeling on Hilux and why we got Bullet. Today, we're going to show you what the stock truck could handle and what we did to make it even better. That's bring me through a hockey puck body lift on and some 35 inch tires before taking the truck to rent. At this point, we've been collecting parts to solid axle swap the truck, but we wanted to see what we could put the truck through in mostly stock form. For the most part, Bullet kept up with even purpose built rigs. We've gone down this several times, but never up. Although we broke on pretty much the first big obstacle of the trail, we were still fairly far in, and getting out with no steering was going to be interesting. Fortunately, our buddy Sam's truck has rear steer, which made it a lot easier to get out. And the fact that he had a full-on exo cage that we were able to put the winch through over top made it so we actually had a way of towing the truck out. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. See if you can start it, Devin. See if you can help him. <laughs> Ride. 
After that whole fiasco, we decided it was time to go ahead and do that solid axle swap. So we got to work. We went ahead and plated the frame and started building our three link front suspension for our brand new used Land Cruiser axles. Now these axles came locked front and rear with 529 gears, which was lower than what we had previously. So we were excited to see the difference that that would make.
Better hope we don't have to remove that. cardboard in place and then that can sit like that and that can sit like that. and that's pretty much perfect we have like three more inches three more inches roughly But the one thing I don't like is the fact that my upper wing is, I believe, contacting the frame rail. So that means I gotta adjust my fan hard. Pushes the axle towards the passenger's head. Hard to see, but you can kind of see some light between the frame rail and the link. And I was just twisting this rod. And it connects to this bracket. This one in front is the steering. Next we added reduction gears in the transfer case, which allowed us to get additional low range out of our gearing in four wheel. It's, I'm spinning at approximately the same rotation. And that one's going faster. That one's going way faster. <laughs> size difference, that's I weird. Right, 
right, right, right. Ah, you're in the hole again. <laughs> you're so. Damn. You're done, bud. I'm <laughs> fucking done. Damn it. That was good for a first run. Yeah. If you did the same thing, but you got your front end over to the right I as you were coming up into here and broke through here instead, you probably would have gotten through. But that's even more flex. Hey, go for it a little. That's pretty damn near max flex. Hey Garrett, come look. No, just come look at this side. We're almost at max flex. No, it's not completely. It's it's a little bit, but we're not even maxed here. <laughs> that feels so strange in the truck. It's still so level in the truck for what it's actually doing. It's wild. It'll be fine. You're good. We might hit the door, but. Start turning passenger, yeah. Oh uh, no, it's just sliding on the frame rail. Perfect. Fucking guy, are you gonna go down the ditch? I was thinking that, but it's probably too soft. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss what's in store in our next video when we take Bullet to Meg Run.